Okay, so here we have a, an architectural diagram of what we're going to build in this course. We're going to start here in our workstation. I'm going to say this this is number one here at the very bottom. So our workstation, we're going to, we're going to do some stuff locally. We're going to uh, try our uh, Flask application. We're going to run that locally. We're going to set some ports, uh, ensure that our Python application is running correctly. And then we're going to uh, set um, some, some automation over here. So that's step number two. So we're going to go from step number one all the way to number two. We're going to set some automation via GitHub Actions. And we're going to set some YAML files and, and some instructions on how exactly that's going to happen. And when we arrive all the way to... Uh, uh, github actions all the way here uh, what's going to happen over there is that we're going to build a container and one thing that i'm not showing here is that this container is going to get pushed to um, in github it's called uh, uh, ghcr uh, which is a github uh, container registry and i believe that's ghcr.io so that's that's the domain and, and this is going to be a, um, a registry. That's where we're going to have our container getting pushed. Now, once that's, uh, that's ha that happens through an API and through the GitHub Actions, so this is going to be uh, step number four, um, then we're going to deploy to Azure. But instead of uh, following what you see here, um, what's going to happen is that Azure is going to get the instruction. That's all right, like happening through uh, through the API over here. However, uh, when Azure gets the instruction to, to start deploying, what's going to happen here is that Azure is going to actually talk to uh, uh, the GitHub uh, container registry and pull that container that we've built and pull it down. Now, you may be wondering, like, wow, like this, this looks rather complex. Now, um, it's not that complex. I mean, there's a, a few steps happening, but this makes it uh, uh, much, much easier. So, for example, if we look at, uh, at the very bottom on, on step number one, if things are not working there, well, we, you're not going to progress to step number two or three. Uh, actually, the automation is going to be set up for you, but the container is probably not going to build. If the container builds uh, here on step uh, number three, then that's fine. It will get built to the github container registry now uh, what gives you the the, the, the a solid robust uh, process deployment here is that you're going to have everything versioned so uh, the automation and github actions uh, is going to allow you to have uh, things uh, in version control so you can check make changes and automatically automatically deploy so that's it that's that's how we will we're going to build this uh, whole application that uh, in, in at first sight it kind of looks uh, rather complex but uh, not quite and we'll take it slowly uh, step by step and uh, we'll get to a very robust uh, push button deployment of a container service using flask